Welcome to another random tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to query Twitter's REST API using the Python language. Now, I'm really new to Python, and I just really all I wanted to do was just query the REST API that Twitter has, and to pass my authentication to them. And being a new being new to Python, I really struggled with this, and I find it quite difficult to find a quick and easy simple way that I could get this done and when I finally sussed it out I realised how simple it was so to help anyone else out I'm just going to make a tutorial of it and stick it out there so the first thing you need to do is go to Twitter you need to create an app if you don't already have one the name can be anything you want again the website can be anything you want this is literally just to get the authentication keys agree to Twitter's terms and voila this is your application basic information here your customer API key what you want are keys and access tokens so you need to create access tokens there we go you have your access token you have your access secret your consumer API key and your API secret and these you want to keep these just take them, paste them here for later use. And you want your access token and your access secret. So I'll delete this app later, so I won't be able to use these. Paste them here for later use. The next thing you want to do is you want to wrap your consumer key inside a Python script. So this is where you start typing your Python. And if you're totally new to Python, just trust me on these. If you if you're not really know what you're doing, then you know what this means. So you need to import JSON because the API will return in JSON format. You need to import OAuth2, as that's the authentication method you will use. And I will just shorten this to OAuth. And what we will do is we will tidy up the key and tokens that we got earlier. So, okay, and what I'll do is I'll save this as a Python script so you can actually see the formatting. I think it actually will color it nicely for us. There we go. Then you need to do some actual coding here. So I have this pasted in already, so I can just paste them in, save you waiting for typing. Um, you can see these are actually case sensitive, so they need to be corrected. They need to be the same case. So then what you do is you go to Twitter and you get a list of all their REST APIs. And here there are quite a few to choose from. But everyone says the documentation's not very very clear. But you can click on one and it will give you a brief description here. It returns the most a collection of the most recent tweets by a specific user and you pass in the username. This is the URL literally and this is what I always wanted to do is discover this URL, how to use it, and actually how to get this information back. So I'll use this one as an example. So you go back to your script, you paste in your URL, so what I'll do is I'll paste in the URL example, so you can see here, and I want one tweet, and the name of the Twitter user is this account, so there we go. Again, I have the code already ready, so I'll just grab it and paste it in. Uh, this URL we will name timeline and tweet. And then we should get a nice JSON string back. So, what we can do is we can pass that JSON and we can see what we get back. So, I'll just comment that out for now. So if I save that, 
I go to terminal, I go to my desktop, I make this full size. And if I look carefully, I should have my tutorial. Aha, uh -huh, you see, I have spelt all wrong. Yeah. So I turn that off, I hit execute again, and there you can see that is the last tweet for my Twitter account. And just to show you what it looks like, if I go to Twitter, okay, we'll just go to regard.com, you can see. My last tweet was how to, a tweet on how to install CentOS on Linux. Or oh, sorry, Linux on a Mac. If you look very carefully, it will be in here somewhere. This actually includes everything about this tweet. You can see the created date, June 17th, the ID for the tweet type, and here you can see text how to install desktop on Linux. If that's all you're interested in, then you need to change your Python script just to extract the text. So go back to your Python script. You can pass this JSON. You can just search for the string text. Go back, query it again. There you go. That's just the text for my tweet. And that, in a nutshell, is how you query the Twitter API, REST API. And if you go back here, You can, you know, if you get this URL. So this is everything on my timeline. Um, so you can just digitally take this URL, swap it for this one. Go back, execute the same script. There you go. It's all the text of all the tweets on my timeline. Obviously they're not mine, but whoever's retweeted or posted that appears on my timeline, this is what you can see. So that's it. I hope this has helped you, and hopefully this is a nice, quick, easy way for you to get into querying the Twitter REST API. Thanks very much.